hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little bit more on the serious side i just want to put a disclaimer out there really quick before i get into this video is you know i'm going to be talking about some sensitive stuff it may be triggering a little bit i'm going i'm not going to use certain words because obviously with youtube and stuff like that but i just want to have that little disclaimer there you know we're going to be talking about some serious things i just got back from the gym i'm sorry i look like shit but we don't care about that we care about the message that we are putting out today i had a really good workout and i don't know i've just been getting this drive to talk about what i want to talk about and i post a lot of you know workout videos and stuff like that and i really want to start tapping into the mental aspect because um that is you know like part of the journey the workout journey you know you have to do your mind not do your mind you got to train your mind and your body will follow and talking about this it took me a while to make this video because i feel like i needed to be in the best state of mind and um with somebody somebody like me with my platform too I'm like what am I doing you know like who would I be if I didn't share my story and if I can help at least one person that's all I care about and um I feel like I've just been through a whole lot of shit that I've over come or overcame overcome overcame that like i said if i'm helping at least one person out there that's going through it right now you know like i've been through it and just how i overcame it and some things i haven't said out loud so the fact that i'm even saying it now is i'm going i'm really in a vulnerable state right now which is why i'm in my car because it feels like a therapy session but that's why i just like spontaneously like i just picked up the camera i'm like i just want to speak from the heart and be my authentic self and like one of my favorite speakers name is jay shetty and he was even saying how our passion is for us and our purpose is for others and like i was saying before i've just been getting this like drive i don't know if it's god telling me or it's the universe just like pushing me to do it but i just feel like i have to share my story and how you know working out saved my life so we're gonna take it we're gonna take it back back rewind um so i started working out some of you know this already but for those who don't know um i started working out when i was 18 I was working out a little bit in my gym in high school. This was like before I graduated. And when I graduated and I got into college, that's when I really, really started working out. But um, aside from college, we're going to take it back way, way, way back. Because, you know, a lot of people, their life, the childhood experiences play a role in um who we are now it, for example for me i don't let you know the things that happened to me in my past affect me now because i've um i've worked on not basically forgiving and moving on um i don't want to use the term getting over it but at the same time it's kind of getting over it we live in a society now where it's it's insensitive to say just get over it but it it kind of is how you have to get over it and move forward because how i had to look at myself in the mirror and say this is not going to control my life this is not going to define who i am and um forgiving the people that did things to me you know so we're gonna take it back 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 so i this is crazy because i've never said this out loud this uh the only people that know are my like my ex from my previous relationship and my therapist so um i was molested when i was younger and 
nobody knows this was somebody that um my family trusted and it's you know when I started therapy and I talked about it it because I was so young I didn't know what was going on so I feel like I kind of just like blocked it out of my mind so um and like I said because I was so young I don't I don't remember I don't have any animosity towards the person that did it to me I don't I honest I don't think about it um because my mind wasn't developed you know like I didn't even know what was going on so but I will say therapy and talking about it is something that helped me as well and I feel like people um there's this stigma around therapy and honestly like therapy is the best thing like for me therapy really helped a lot of my issues when I was growing up like with that um with my self-harm um period time um and I'm sorry if I say um a lot but um so when that happened and you know my parents being divorced like not being together that was really hard as well because you know I would see people together and I'm like why can't my parents be together you know so um there was just a lot there's that there's my parents there's um you know me not liking myself me not like liking my body and um I didn't have anything to to keep me going in a sense you know and when I started working out it just it helped so much like all the anger the pain everything that I went through I it just went into working out okay my bad as I'm editing this video I realized that I didn't really give a time frame or an explanation of the therapy so my family or my parents didn't know about my childhood um traumatic the what happened to me they only knew about me self-inflicting onto myself and that's what led them to um put me into therapy so what led me to that was me being so angry about the things that what happened to me my parents and just me being upset about my body and this was me entering you know teenage years and I feel like that's kind of um your body is changing and stuff like that so that's when they put me into therapy and then after that when I it got better that's when I left and then um was traveling and when I came to Canada I wasn't doing therapy and then um that's when I st started to kind of like get into working out and then on with the whole therapy thing recently like I took it last year because of you know my aunt's passing away uh, that was a big thing for me too and then like leaving my relation my last relationship which was like four years and then now I'm at a point where like I don't need it anymore because it's helped me um, overcome you know the things that I end plus working out and obviously like when you start working out and you see the gains and everything like obviously everybody wants a fat ass in a, in a small way so you know what I mean like it is what it is but um the mental aspects like that is what really helped me a lot like I don't even know how to like literally anybody that has like a traumatic ex um, past and they start out working out just knows what I'm talking about but it's really hard for me to explain it but um so that you know like I said all of that um when I started working out, I was super skinny. Didn't like how I looked. I wanted to be a model. Um, I remember at the time when like thigh gaps were were in the trend, and I really, really wanted one. And with my eating disorder too. So when my parents found out that I was self harming, that's when I got into therapy. This was when I was in Ghana, and I was it was so weird like I didn't even want to do therapy like I didn't want I didn't want to talk I had to go through a few therapy sessions for me to start talking about 
why I was doing it um, and stuff like that. And then when I left and then came to Canada, <sighs> that's when I went to high school and then went to college and I started working out. And um, overall, you know, I just want... Any girl that has been through or is going through what I went through, it gets better. It sucks. Like, it really, really sucks. But you can't let bad people have control over your life. And even in, like, my last relationship, too, like, when people try to hold things over your head or you have this anger towards somebody, they have the power, you know, so it's like once you let go and forgive, not for them, but for yourself, forgive, I would say the forgiveness therapy and meditating, meditating helped me a lot because it made me feel more grounded, um, helped me tap into my uh, deeper emotions and shadow work as well. And I just felt more grounded. I, ha I felt more peaceful when I started meditating and talking about my issues um is you have to talk about it like you can't you can't hold it in you know so I would say and obviously with therapy like if you can afford it yes but some people can't but at the same time for me you know like I didn't want to talk to my friends about it because I didn't want to feel like I was a burden and I didn't want to tell, talk to my family about it because, you know, there were certain things that I couldn't tell my family. You know, like growing up, I grew up in an African household and they don't even care about uh, depression. Like they don't even believe depression is real. They just tell you to get over it. The things that I have been through and I've been through quite other things that I, I don't really want to say fully some things on camera, but. Um, everybody is going through something like everybody has their own shit everybody has their own demons their own secrets you know and it's how we deal with them and how we treat people regardless of what we are going through and I feel like that's what defines us us as individuals um I don't go out of my way to hate on anybody or speak badly or wish badly onto somebody and I feel like that's kind of how I've that's how I've lived my life and I feel like honestly that's why like I wouldn't say I'm lucky but the blessings like I'm I would say that I'm 50 50 lucky because it's lucky and hard work at the same time but things do naturally come to me because I don't wish badly upon people like I want people to win I want people to be the best version of themselves like when I see girls working out that have great physiques like I want to be their friend like let me learn like you know what I mean and that same vice versa thing so I feel like you just have to be kind to people and like I said with the whole past experiences you have to grab onto something it can be working out it can be music it can be art it can be whatever it is that your niche is and I know that a lot of people have a hard time figuring out what their niche is but working out is something that has so many benefits mentally and physically um so regardless you know and also it's just being healthy you know what I mean like yes we love body positivity but at the end of the day it's all about just being healthy and you know, like, when people see me in the gym, it was like, oh, just another Instagram girl with a big butt, whatever, whatever, you know, and it's like, no, I mean, yes, obviously, but once you get to know me as an individual, then it's like, oh, okay, like, this is different, you know what I mean? These things 
that happened to me or it's happening to you, it sucks. And you will find yourself asking yourself, why is this happening to me? You know, and I'm a firm, I'm a firm believer in everything that happens to us. It's for a reason. And honestly, like, I'm super thankful for every shitty thing that has happened to me. And some of you may probably be like, that's fucking crazy. But me personally, every shitty thing that I have been through or somebody has done to me, it has built my character and turned me into who I am today. So I'm so thankful for that. And I feel like everything that we go through in life, it's all about your mindset and how you view what it is that you're going through. You can't play that victim mindset because if you are in that victim mindset, 24 7 like you will never get over it have that period to cry have a you know lay in bed whatever it is that you have to do but then after that it's like life just life moves on you know time waits for nobody and you're either going to be a victim or just take control and say, I'm not going to let this thing mess up my life, you know? And like I said, with what happened when I was younger, my parents, these are all things that were out of my control, you know? And and it's so hard because there's literally nothing you can do about it. But the only thing that you can do is control how you react or respond to it and move forward and, you know, take the necessary steps. Nobody can tell you how to live your life. Take the necessary steps that you need to to move on, whether it be doing therapy, working out, having an outlet to express and release all those emotions because if you don't have something to let it out you're just going to have that in in you for the rest of your life working out really just it gives me something to look forward to it like that's you know like when I leave the gym the next thing that's on my mind is when I'm gonna work out again because that's the only thing. And you know, I'm also not saying, you know, like, um, be too dependent on it. Because, you know, there's to that point to where if you don't do that, then you lose yourself, you know. Um, but at the same time, that's just, I mean, it's better than doing drugs. It's better than... You know what I mean? I don't know. And I feel like also that driving, you know, working out. When I started working out and I posted my first video, it blew up. And I was getting so many comments and so many DMs from girls telling me how I changed their life and how I helped them. And I'm the reason why they started working out. Like, when girls tell me that like that makes me feel so good like that just makes me so happy and I feel like I'm doing something with my life and like I said if I'm helping just one person like that's all I fucking care about like and I want women and girls to feel beautiful and be the best versions of themselves you know like when you leave a toxic relationship or have something going on with your family or whatever it is that you are going through in life you know like you have yourself I know this video is a little bit all over the place and I'm a little bit all over the place you know but like I said I just want to be my authentic self and like I said before if there's somebody watching this video and this helps them that is all I care about because everybody's going through something that we don't talk that they don't want to talk about that nobody knows that is a deep thing and you know some people 
lose the battle and it's very sad you know I've lost people to um I've lost people that have taken their life and I've tried to and it's really hard to think that it's going to get better but I'm here telling you that it's going to get better and let me be the reason please that you continue with life you know if you are watching my video right now and you feel like you I don't even want to cry oh no 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 um it really sucks because literally I've been there where it's like it's so hard I didn't want to cry okay anyways it's so hard whilst you are going through it you know like I've had days where I didn't even go to the gym like I didn't want to work out like I was in my bed nobody knew you know and I know so many people struggle with it but you just have to you just have to try and you can't give up and you just have to like you can't you can't you just you gotta be strong you you have to I hear something in my car that's doing and I don't know what it is though but it's kind of freaking me out a little bit I feel like I should get the fuck out of my car but anyways we had a little sappy moment whatever um <laughs> but anyways um I hope you guys enjoyed this video um it feels good to be vulnerable and be able to talk about these things because you know so many people are going through it and we don't talk about these things and I feel like people should because you know everybody likes to act like they don't got shit going on everybody wants to act like their life is so perfect you know and life is not perfect I mean you may have a really good life don't get me wrong but you can have a really good life and feel alone you can have you can have money you can have a nice apartment you can have so many friends but then those friends are not your actual friends you know so and we can compare our lives to to other people where we're like damn like what do you have to complain about you don't know what that other person is going through you know that's just the facade that's just the outside you know and even with social media you have people that are flexing like they have money but then they're sleeping on air mattress or they're even sleeping on floor you know so anyways what i want you to take from this video is life gets better don't let things that you've been through control your life and define who you are and the people that have done things to you don't let them define take back that control have something to i personally would say work out work out because you can release so many <clears throat> you can release so many emotions and on the science side you know you really get endorphins dopamine you know all that loveliness um and you feel better you know it's scientifically proven that you'll feel better so <sighs> we're getting a little bit deep i don't know if i'm gonna post this video but regardless um Anyways, that is my story and how, and you know, that's not even, and the crazy part, like, that's not everything, you know, like, the things that I've been through, you will be surprised, you will be surprised of the shit that I've been through and I could, I could write a fucking book, I honestly could write a book of the shit that I've been through, but it's just, life goes on, forgive, you don't forget but it hurts less. Thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you guys in my next video.